Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for uh, coming in, coming back. Uh, we're trying a new thing today. I'm going to try to uh, recreate a like 40s, 50s uh, Vargas style pinup. Uh, you have to uh, bear with me. I just learned this about a half an hour ago, so we're both uh, kind of learning together. But it was kind of easy. I, I figured it out, and it, it doesn't work too bad. So uh, there's a couple uh, important things to think about. First off, the subject matter has to be well lit. Um, you can't do it with a dark picture. You can't do it with a picture that has no shades or tones in it. Um, uh, I had to search around on the internet to find a picture that was sort of a pinup-ish and had a good light source. This is good. It's got a light background, nothing distracting. Um, uh, well, if the, this young lady, if you recognize yourself, I got this off the internet. I have no idea who this is, so I can't do any attributions to it. But uh, if this is you, ma'am, uh, and you need to talk to me about the use of your picture, please feel free to call me anytime. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to make a copy of that layer. We're going to work on two layers, so I'm going to copy that because I want to keep the original uh, safe. So let's make the uh, original layer invisible. Okay, so I've got two layers here. The top layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to accentuate the highlights and the shadows. Uh, there's a few little tricks I just basically practice this to figure out how to do it. Um, okay, so the top layer, I'm going to desaturate it. So image, adjust, desaturate to get it to black and white. Alrighty. Now I want to um, blur this a little because I'm just going for the lights and darks. I don't really want to worry about the color. I want to get the lights and darks because that's what those uh, pinup posters had was they they were shot from if the photos were a, a, a you know if they were painted from a photo the photos had extremely bright uh, lights if you notice any of them they look like they're just right under a spotlight and that's how they achieve that effect uh, if they or they were just painted directly and then the artist painted those highlights you know over accentuated the highlights and the shadows so we're gonna try to artificially recreate that this doesn't have a lot of shadows in it a lot of highlights but we're gonna try to try to recreate that okay so I've desaturated it now I need to uh, blur it so filter blur Gaussian blur yeah, uh, I want to blur it somewhat, but not too much, because I I need to save the the differences in the light values. So uh, three ish, four ish on the pixels. Okay. Now I'm going to do an artistic or filter, artistic cutouts, because I'm really wanting to accentuate the darks and the lights. So I need to bring those out. Okay. Uh, right now I've got it set at uh, cutout number of levels 8, edge simplicity 4, edge fidelity 3. Um, that's about what I can get. It's going to vary by your picture. Um, see, because every time I change some of these settings, it changes the amount of you know the lights and the darks. Um, so about 3. See, if I do the number of levels, every time it changes somewhat, but you don't want to get it too wacky. Um, you want to like accentuate certain highlight areas and certain shadow areas. Okay, so see that's got some shadows, some mids, some highs, and then we're going to accentuate that later on. Okay, so I did that. So if you see now on top of that layer, it's really highlighting the lights and the darks. Okay, so now I'm going to have to blur that again. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's blur that out a little bit more. That's about a five or so. Okay. Now if you, well, I can't, <laughs> I can't zoom in while it's doing the uh, effects. So, okay, there you go. Alrighty. Now let's see if this is going to show up here. I'm going to now set this black and white blurred lightness darkness accentuated layer. I'm going to set it to overlay. Okay. Now if you look, there's without the effect, there's with the effect. Okay. So it, it doesn't look like much yet, but now I'm going to, because I'm working on the black and white layer, and you're really not looking at the black and white, um, I'm going to do an adjustment. I'm going to adjust brightness and contrast, and this should pop the shadows and pop the highlights. Okay, contrast up, brightness down. Can you see what that's doing? It's really making around her hips, and 
and across her belly and her arms and stuff the shadows um, it's really making it pop more okay can you see that so there's without there's with now we're getting close right now see that's it's already getting to that that pinup posterish look that over accentuated shadows and highlights okay so now we're going to still keep them separated I'm still not going to merge yet all I want to do is start accentuating this shadow layer the the brightness and shadow layer so I'm going to take my dodge tool uh, usually set it on midtones exposure not too much um, the reason I'm actually doing it on the um, this black and white layer is because if I was to start doing the uh, uh, dodge and burn tool it would be bringing out the colors and I don't want to bring out the colors I want to bring out the lights and darks which is obviously on the black and white layer okay so I'm starting out with the dodge tool first Let me increase the brush size a little and we're accentuating the curvy parts mm, the curvy parts okay front of her thighs see it's making it look rounded her kneecap is rounded I'm getting the, the lights okay coming down her calf I'm getting the lights Just the front of her other thigh Oh, the front of her other thigh. Okay. Now, can you see I'm doing that? I'm. I don't want to do this too much. I'm doing this with a mouse. The problem is, is I'm left-handed. My mouse is in my right, so I can't get this too good. But you're getting the idea. If you had a Wacom tablet with a with a pen, uh, you could obviously really do this a lot, a lot better. Um, here's her her uh, shoulder. Make that. See how it's rounded. It's making it look more rounded. Coming across her chest, her forearm. Now can you see that? There's without, there's with. Look at that. It's already getting that posterized, cartoony, roundish, over accentuated. Okay, there's the highlights. Now let's switch to the burn tool. Again, mid-tones. Now this you gotta be a little careful with. I've got the exposure a little lower. I've only got it 13%. We don't want to do this too much. Okay. Wow, now that's really bringing out the curves. It's bringing out the the, the shadows. It's making her look more curvy okay I like my women curvy well with curves not <laughs> not mac and cheese and hit the uh, McDonald's everyday curvy but you know what I'm talking about okay so I'm going back now I'm just hitting the the uh, shadows accentuating them a little bit we'll go into the face and we can even accentuate the face a little more let's do the um, the dodge tool just get across the uh, reduce the brush size a little Let's go across, get the forehead a little, come down the nose, uh, accentuate the cheekbones. That's always important. Okay, get a little bit on the chin and reduce the brush size even a little more, and we can really do the lips. Okay, we're just doing the highlights here. Okay, let's back that up and see what it looks like. There we go. Okay, there's without, there's with. We're really getting to that effect now. Okay. We'll just tweak a few more things before we do one final step that's going to totally make it look like, well, I shouldn't say totally look like a painting, but it's going to get it there. Okay. The hair. We want to highlight the hair. If you notice in the old stylized paintings, it would have the, sh the light coming across the hair, and it would look almost like a bar of light across there. This is really easy. This is the kind of trick you can do in other stuff, too. Do the dodge tool. Again, mid-tones, uh, kind of medium exposure. Whichever direction the hair is going, see this is going kind of diagonal-ish, left to right, you go at a 90-degree angle to that. So I'm going to take the dodge tool. Uh, let me get that brush a little bigger and just go right straight across, and it's going to put a bright bar of highlight right across the hair. Remember those old, like, 1940s, their hair was kind of kind of plastered down anyways. Okay, up here the hair is going a different direction, so I have to highlight in a different direction. I'm highlighting in a 90-degree angle to the to the hair. Can you see what that did to it? Okay, there's that hair. Look how that really made it that the the uh, it's it's a painting effect almost. Okay, see that? Wow, that's really accentuating the the posterizing feel and the uh, pinup feel, the painting. There you go. Okay, now we could even tweak this a little more. Um, uh, let me go into the eyes, and you can put the eye sparkle in there. I'm kind of freehanding this to make sure that I am going to get this. i got to zoom in, and yet I can't see what I'm doing very good. So let's just see if I can put a little, little highlight in there. And a little highlight in here. 
Okay, let's zoom out and see if that did anything. Yeah, can't really notice it that much. Okay, so there you go. Without the effect, with the effect. We're still not done. We've got one more major step to do. I'm going to take these two layers, merge visible. Okay, again, comparing the original to the now highlighted and shadowed. Okay, I got to make a copy of the the posterized layer. Posterized, I keep saying that. Okay, this layer, what we're going to do is we're going to do a filter, artistic, and we're going to do a watercolor. Because usually these, these paintings were obviously painted on a piece of paper. They looked a little rougher. This is going to add a little roughness to it. Because um, you can sort of almost see the brush strokes in the old, like, 1940s, 1950s paintings. Okay. So watercolor brush detail is high, 14. Shadow intensity is low, as low as it'll go. See, because if you do too much, look at that, it just darkens it out. So all the way. Texture, you don't want too much texture. You can do a little bit. It's, it's adding some, but I keep it down. So I usually do on this, I do high on the brush detail, low on the shadow intensity, low on the texture. Okay? Now, if you see, that, that just darkens it too much. But what we're going to do is take that layer. I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 80-ish, 90-ish percent. We'll do 85. And then the fill. We're going to lower that way down. Okay. We want to get that so that it's hardly filled at all, but it's just adding just a little bit of depth to it and a little bit of sort of paint brushy water colory effect. Okay. So let's compare that to the to the uh, highlight. Okay. So let's go all the way back to the beginning. Nothing. Highlights and shadows painted effect. Okay. Now let's merge the visible. There you go. That's it. Let's compare it to the original. Nothing. Va va voom. Okay, let's back this off a little bit so we can get a look on our whole body. I especially like here you can see down at the bottom you're seeing the the real curves of her body are accentuated. Her belly, her hips, her arms, her shoulder. Um, you can tweak this, you know, go in and once you've done all this, just go back and, you know, have fun with it. Add a little more tweaks, a little more highlights, shadows, uh, sharpen it up. Like I said, you could probably go in here and do a little tweaking on the face. Uh, add some little, uh, you know, highlights, twinkles on the eyes. Um, you could even uh, rouge the cheeks up a little. I know some of those posters, the cheeks look awful red. You could obviously do your own thing, make the lips red, change the color, uh, highlight the hair a little bit. So anyway, that's it. So there you go. Without, with, and she is looking mighty, mighty fine. Can you do me a favor and call me baby? <laughs> okay. Once again, this was Chris with CCG Sales. If you like what you saw, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, rate me, like me, leave comments. Uh, if you got any suggestions, let me know. If you want to make your own uh, video uh, to uh, show me how you've done, please feel free to submit it. Once again, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks and have a great day.